warm-up comic on this very show, but quickly he became what he is now, a superstar of comedy. Ladies and gentlemen, Peter Kay. <laughs> It's there. all changed now, Ant. I've not been on ITV. It's nice, isn't it? It's very <laughs> nice. You like it here? It's a bit bigger. Casters. Yeah, ca oh, <laughs> no, you've not got casters. I thought you had casters. casters. <laughs> I thought you had casters. <laughs> Go on, I thought that's, that's why you came. You were getting them. casters. Ages. <laughs> and close ups. Go easy on them slow zooms. I'm telling you now. <laughs> you could see Jerry Springer's fillings last week. You were this far. I don't know what's crack with this. Is that <laughs> when I get all. Uh, in the years ago, when I had a drinking problem, like, <laughs> Whoa, <right. laughs> anyway, pull back, pull back. Uh, now listen, first up, first question I'm always with you. How's your nan? Oh, she's fine. Yeah, oh, she's great. fine. She's 84 in December. Yeah. She'll not like me saying that, but whatever. Yeah. I always say it anyway. Not, but well, not last year because she's 83. <laughs> she's fine. Yeah, she's uh, she's well. She sends her love. She wants to know when give us a clues coming back. <laughs> <laughs> When you're back on ITV, when's the big reunion? <laughs> you and Lionel Nuna, huh? Uh, <laughs> Stop was... eating those were the days. <laughs> <laughs> they were the nah, days. Don't were... you worry. Ah, yeah, I'd love to do charades with you, I'll oh, tell you that. Nice. <laughs> we had my nan doing Jumanji at Christmas. She wrote for <laughs> two hours, she were at it. <laughs> Stopped eating uh, eggs because you don't want bird flu. <laughs> <laughs> that's true. That's <laughs> true. I swear to God, that's true. Um, she was trying to get. Oh, go, oh, anyway, go on. Go on. I, she, I took her out of a day in car, and my sister rang up, and I've got his hands free thing in car. So my sister went, Hey, I went, You're all right? You should just talk. And I went, Yeah, I'm fine. I went, I mean, Nan's with me. And she went, Hello, Nan. I mean, Nan's, Hello, Julie. <laughs> but she's talking to the door. Because <laughs> <laughs> that's what the speaker is. Hello, Julie. <laughs> Everywhere. She's not in Doha, because <laughs> that's where she's going from. No one you don't leave home, mate. Uh, no, no. And no. also, well, since last uh, I saw you, um, you've become a dad. Yeah, I've got a little boy now, Charlie. He's what, a year? He's a year and three weeks, yeah. Ish. Yeah, Ish. Right. Ish. <laughs> Ish. Yeah. But he's, then, he's lovely, yeah. How are you taking to fatherhood? Is it, is it good? He's, he's fantastic. He's absolutely brilliant. And, I'm, you know, it's lovely being, you know, off with him at the moment. I'm not doing anything and spending time with him and just going out every day, but... Uh, Say hello to him. If we're on, what are we on here? Charlie! <laughs> Charlie! No! <laughs> I'll tell you what you like. What? When the day is dawning <laughs> on a Texas Sunday morning. <laughs> you like that, to tell you. <laughs> and on to the... Don't touch that! Don't touch... No! Charlie, no! <laughs> That'll freak him out now from inside town. Get on there. <laughs> from that side. Charlie, no! Don't touch! <laughs> what? Is it, no! What is it? Straight away. Off button, stand it, and that flap at front, they turn it on and off. But they know, my mum's 57, she can't work a video. <laughs> and babies, I wanted her OB City last week, I got shipman. <laughs> I love that. Same thing. My kids used to go to the back of the, of the set when I was on. So, I love in the seeing back of the people were in there, it. Like, uh, but he loves, he loves all that. He loves, he? he loves videos and jamming things in and crayons <laughs> and all that. And you go, no, but. <laughs> You can't help it, can no, you? Absolutely. You need a fire guard shot. in front of telly and video and a fire guard in front of fire. <laughs> video. How do you do? How do you do? How do you do again, sir? He loves that and all. Oh, I see. <laughs> I wonder what was happening. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> let's, Sorry. let's talk about this comic relief thing yes, that you've done yes. as well, this video, right? Um, this Tony Christie song that you actually rejuvenated and it was a part of your childhood, wasn't it? Yeah, well, I always... When I was growing up, my mum had... We had a record player, uh, one of them lift-up lid ones you used to put on the floor. And we only had five albums, and one of them were... Uh, well, you know, we had uh, Best of Beach Boys, Best of Simon and Garfunkel, Best of Carpenters, an Irish one, and uh, <laughs> Tony Christie. And I always... My mum used to just play it afternoons, like, when I was a kid, and then... I just... Anyway, years later, I just used to sing it. I, I was on stage one night in a club in Manchester and I just sang Amarillo at the end and I, everyone just seems to know it. It's one of them songs. It only got to number 18 in charts. Mm. But, you know, sha la 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 sha la 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 See what I mean? Yeah. Everyone knows it. Go on, eh? Anyway, <laughs> but, uh, it's all right. It's all right. Video, I did a show at Manchester Evening News Arena and we sang it at the beginning 
And Richard Curtis caught to Manchester and he's saying, current relief. And I said, why don't we do this as a video? I said, it's just a bit of fun. I said, and there's nothing about it. I just thought it'd be a good laugh. So I'm lip syncing it like Dennis Potter style. Yes. And we've got different people in it, yes. including yourself. Well, first, let's have a look at it. Shall we? Oh, are you showing it? I'm going right, to yeah. show you two halves, all right? OK. For obvious reasons. No, but you know the reason why, because the last bit, we'll talk about that. All right, so here's the oh, first... Oh, ah! ah. <laughs> I know. I know. Here's yes. the first bit. <clears throat> Now, we've saved the, the best till last, haven't we, in a sense? Yes, we have, yeah, I know what it is now. <laughs> I can know you, Michael. Yes. Michael did it, and um, we had loads of different people in it, as you can see. Ronnie Corbett did it, God love him. Yeah. We did it on treadmills, we had to walk on treadmills, right? <laughs> and Ronnie fell. <laughs> right. I like a laugh, but hang on. <laughs> <laughs> and he fell, and... <laughs> What's, now, there's two ways you can watch this. You can either watch Ronnie falling, but if you're lucky, watch Michael's reaction. I, that's my favourite bit, cos he goes... <laughs> <laughs> <He's> like, ah. <laughs> so we put it in the edit, and I said to Ronnie, now, would you mind if this went in? And thank the Lord, he's great sport, and he saw it, he said, no, it is very funny. Yeah. So we put it in. <laughs> what, we're funny, though, and I've got it. He fell, and he's landed, he's landed on... I'll not show it, and then I'll tell this. All right, yeah. Fine. Here we go. <laughs> TV gold. <laughs> He fell over and he's on floor. He's doing all that. He went down. <laughs> and he, he said, he went, pick me up, pick me up. And the director, lovely fella, Dave Mallet, he'd broke his shoulder, right, and he's just got his arm out of a sling. He, we couldn't get off, me and Michael were like, I'll oh, tread me. <laughs> and he went over and he went, are you all right? He went, pick me up. He went, I can't, I broke my shoulder. He went, pick me up. I can't. Pick me up. I know, it's like one person he could ask got a broken shoulder. He's lying there on the floor. But, I mean, I'm glad he let that... Uh, I mean, the thing about Ronnie's a comedian, so he knows a good laugh when he sees one. Well, I know, I think, <laughs> no, I think it's cos he watched it with his family as well, and they, and all, they He said they really yeah. laughed, and he yeah. thought, well, it's... Yeah. I didn't hurt myself, he said, and it was... He's, it is funny. Yeah. So we put it in, it's so it's wonderful. great. So, yeah. That's the comic relief. It is indeed. Excellent. Out Monday. Excellent. And it's amazing because it was a sketch and now it's released as a CD and who'd have thought yeah, it? That's so. wonderful. Yeah. Now, the other thing too, the other news is that I hear that you're not, <laughs> not going to do any more of those wonderful John Smith ads. No, I'm not. No, I've, I've decided I'm not going to do any more. I've, I've done them and they were good and I thought it'd be nice to, you know, do some more adverts. <laughs> <laughs> if possible, but I did a few and, and they were really funny. But I also think it's nice to end a campaign when or something when it's funny, like you know, at Phoenix Nights or whatever, and then do something. But also, new. too, I mean, there's always been, been a strange business you're doing that because you don't drink, do you? No, I, I, I do, but I mean, I don't drink, you don't drink I don't alcohol. Drink. <laughs> yeah, it's funny, really, because I think what happens is I didn't drink and then, which is a blessing and a curse. It's, it's a blessing because you can always drive home from everywhere, it's a curse because everyone wants a bloody lift. You know what I mean? <laughs> Especially on New Year's Eve when it's triple fur. Like, can you get another one in? We're full, we're all right. One, one more. And then you drop them off and when they're drunk and you dro ever dropped anyone off and they're drunk? <laughs> and then I have Susan's cousin in back going, where's it? Straight on. Straight on. Fucking <laughs> out, straight on. <laughs> Is it left or right? Straight on. <laughs> we're going to stop now, Michelle, because we're in Hull. <laughs> She lives. I know it's near a bus stop. <laughs> we're as good as there, aren't we? You know what I mean? <laughs> straight on. <laughs> but it's strange, because when you think of the life that you had, I mean, when I knew you, first of all, when you were doing the warm from the show, you were then working, doing the working men's clubs and all that, yeah. and I've been for a long time. And, I mean, it, that's a boozy culture, isn't it? You must have been the only person that wasn't drunk. What happened? I started doing it, and I realised I could get, up get on stage, and I, I was nervous, but I didn't need a drink. And then once you've kind of got over that hurdle, you think, well, if I can do this without drinking, Plus, I can go home and I don't have to waste half my money on a B&B. <laughs> uh, it's great. So that's how I started doing it. And yeah. I just used to drive back from gigs and, you know, and... and... But, I mean, working in those clubs at that time, when you look back on, on those days, uh, from your position where you are now, do you look back with fondness? Do you enjoy them? Oh, yeah, it's... it's I think it's... Um, I mean, there's some brilliant stories about... I di with some people that I worked with, I did one... I did Eccles Masonic Hall once with a, <laughs> uh, a shirt. And that's the guy said to me, uh, how do you want your lights? And I went, well, what are my options? He went, on or off. <laughs> <laughs> and he had a light switch up wall. <laughs> what with a shirt look alike who did Shania Twain songs? <laughs> Shania Twain! <laughs> and she tipped stars in your eyes off telly. 
beginning of it on a tape player like when you're a kid and, and then it come on, stars in your eyes, tonight singing live and she went, sure, like, <laughs> sure, and she come out honest to and then another gig with her, uh, and she, this other one was a sure look like, uh, she would call sure and sure alike, that were her stage name. <laughs> I did a Shania Twain one, she would call Shania Twin. <laughs> These two, <laughs> yeah. and, uh, and uh, she was supporting Pete Loth, not Meat Loth. Pete Loth. <laughs> Pete Loth. Get it? Carpet fitter with a grudge. <laughs> <laughs> he had an Harley Davidson on stage <laughs> and he did Bateau to Bell. Feet love! I did a gig last year, I've got to tell you this, and this was funny, at Blackpool Opera House. And uh, there were, for some reason, they were all magicians on it second half. <laughs> and I didn't know, I knew they were, but I, what happened? I come out begin at night and I said, hello, and curtains were shut and the big curtains at Blackpool Opera House, and I put them on my shoulder. I said, these should be open, and I pulled them open, like that. <laughs> and then, cos I said, like that set-up back there, it looks lovely, that, and everyone laughed and thought it were all past it short. And then I did my bit and everything, and then the second half would come on, they were shut again. And I went, they're shut again! So I put them on my shoulder and pulled them up, <laughs> and there's a magician trying to put a woman in a box. <laughs> it's worse the funniest thing. He's like, ah, get in! <laughs> I like behind head like trying to... <laughs> I, did a, I did a club <laughs> once with... Uh, I had a broken arm, broke my arm ice skating when I first started doing stand-up. Bloody slippy, ice skating. <laughs> and uh, I went on and they went, Peter Kay! And I come out with arm its sling. And I went, you all right, everybody? Nice to see you. This were in the sale, this. It were all Liverpool workers and people from Warrington and I were doing it at some hotel in sale. And they were all... Um, they all looked watching my arm. This is gonna be good, this. This is gonna be good. He's got a bloody bunch of flowers up there, you know. <laughs> and I'm like, no, this is, I brought my arm. <laughs> and they're going, any minute now? <laughs> but no, this is it, I broke it. And then, uh, that just, I just started dying then, cos they were like, he's, he's just telling bloody jokes, and they're gonna rip his bloody arm off. <laughs> so they start talking. Then one of them says, I says, did you ever get up in the morning and your alarm goes off and it's three minutes past eight, but you always wait till five past. You don't get up, at, dog forbid you get up on an odd number, you always round it up to five past. <laughs> you know, you don't, do you? you think, I'll wait till five past and I'll get up. <laughs> you don't get up at five o'clock, Billy. Yeah, you don't come in till two. I'm like, what? <laughs> and then, yeah, get out of here, you've had more holidays this year since I was young. What? And <laughs> uh, they ended up shouting across the room, heckling each other. <laughs> Everyone's arguing, and I'm leaning up against DJ in the mince pie with a broken arm. I'm getting paid for this, this is great. <laughs> but, but listen, but the other thing too is, is uh, you're going to sing for us later on. Yeah, yeah, no, I, I, well, Go. I'll tell you later. I'll, I'll sing later. It, yeah. But also to uh, the video and the, the, the records out on, on Monday for comic relief. Yeah, it's for comic relief, so oh, and it's, it's cracking. And thanks very much for doing it as oh, well. It's a pleasure, I really enjoyed you it. You and Shaky. Yeah, me and Shaky. <laughs> <laughs> Peter Kay, thank you very much, Lee. Peter Kay.
wonderful. You separated two and dead, eh? Oh, said it right. Wonderful. <laughs> well done, my lad. I'm not Sinatra. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, funnier than Sinatra, that's for sure, yeah. <laughs> anyway, but, but uh, my, my thanks, that was lovely, and a nice, nice end to show, and Sandra, thanks a lot. My thanks then to, to Sandra Bullock, to Nicholas Linders, and to Peter Kay, and from all of us here, a very good night. Good night. Yeah. Good night. Yeah.